Hey, I'm Stevie T, and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And as such, I'm gonna improvise a little guitar solo for you guys. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what's going on here. I just used an auto-tuner to mess with my guitar. And it's really rather easy. All I have to do is import my guitar tracks into the auto-tuner, and it looks like this. Every one of these little blippy blips represents a note. So I can just get right on in here and, uh, and essentially just click and drag the notes to whatever pitch I want them to be. So basically, you can use auto-tuning to do some sick stuff to your guitar. I can control my guitar with my mind. Now, auto-tuning is very common in pop music for pop singers who, you know, can't sing. And it's essentially the same theory for guitar. Take, for example, this single note solo. See? All the same note. So I'm just gonna drag these notes around to the desired pitch and create a solo. <laughs> yeah! And for those of you wondering, yes, it did take a long time to create that solo. Let's see if we can get the craziest vibrato ever recorded. Whoa, wait! Let's try to do the biggest bend in guitar history. I mean, we've all done one and a half step bends before, but not 53 and a half steps. That was just nutty. Longest guitar slide ever. That's right. Anyone can shred now. Okay, I am creating a super crazy solo right now. pedal when we've got auto-tune. We're Dragon Force! <gasps> One of the funnest things about auto-tuning your guitar is you can mess with all of your genty friends. Because we can take all their super low genty notes and tune them up to an embarrassing level. Yeah, see, no, that note is too low. We can fix that. That'll show them. I can't gent anymore! <laughs> notes. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have an idea. Let's try to play the lowest note ever recorded. And I'm even gonna do it by using the high E string because I'm that trendy. All right, let's tune this E note down. Man, that note is so low, it sounds like bowling pins. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we auto-tune a bunch of whammy bar stuff. You know, sometimes I like to take a guitar solo and auto-tune all the notes to sound the same. One of my favorite hobbies. Something's wrong with my guitar. Every note is tuned the same. I got it. We should also set a record for the highest note ever played. Oh, ooh. Well, every dog in the neighborhood is flipping balls now. You know what? I wonder if we could auto-tune a whammy dive so that the note never actually drops. A little bit of whammy dive counteraction, if you will. Let me record a whammy dive quick. All right, so here's our whammy dive. Let's see if we can adjust this. Okay, and that should about counteract the whammy dive. Let's test it out. Well, whammy bar doesn't work anymore. <gasps> Alrighty. I want to take this opportunity again to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And I gotta tell you guys, Squarespace is probably the best place to create a web page of any place that I've ever seen. Heck, I already used Squarespace to create a website for my death metal band, Bounding Innards. And I mean, <laughs> that's, for, that's sick. And a great thing about Squarespace is it's an actual website. You don't have to use an app within an app within an app within an app. That's a fresh mental. <laughs> so yeah, customizability, professionalism, easy to use. Look no further than Squarespace. But yeah, try out a free trial. And if you guys like it, follow my link, squarespace.com slash DVT to get 10% off your first website purchase. Hmm? Huh? Look at us getting professional websites and such. <laughs> So thanks to Squarespace and thanks to you for watching. You guys are the reason I'm able to do what I do. And honestly, I don't know what I would do without you guys. So thanks so much for your continued support. And if you thought this video was fun, wait till my next one. I'm super excited for this one. So click here to subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on. I'll see you guys next time.